Malaysia is a premier destination in Southeast Asia. It is famous for its beautiful landscape, natural wonders, and bustling cities, particularly its capital, Kuala Lumpur. Beautiful, stunning, mysterious, fun Malaysia seems to have it all, from its cosmopolitan areas to its near-perfect bucolic spots. Today in this video we will discuss about Malaysia, which you people generally don't know. But before starting this video, I request all of you friends that if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then subscribe this channel quickly and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any video full of information reaching you. Malaysia is a Southeast Asian country that has a total land area of 3,29,847 square kilometer. It holds a unique place in the world as the only country that sits on both the Malay Archipelago and mainland Asia. Malaysia is a federal constitutional monarchy. The country has a reigning monarch but his authority is superseded and regulated by the constitution. Any decisions made still have to go through the parliament. The Malaysian parliament has three major branches the king, who is considered the paramount ruler, the senate, and the house of representatives. The capital of Malaysia is Kuala Lumpur, a Malay term which means muddy estuary or confluence. Kuala Lumpur's naming has a vague history. The name may have originated from the Hakka term Lampang, meaning muddy uncleared forest. Malaysia shares a boundary with Thailand to the north and is connected to Singapore via the Tuas Second Link Bridge and the Johor Singapore Causeway. The national anthem of Malaysia is Negaraku. It was once used as the anthem of the Perak region. The first known human habitation in the country is believed to date back 40,000 years. The peninsula itself was likely first inhabited by the Negritos. Malaysia has 878 islands under its control. Some islands are inhabited while others are too remote to be accessible. Malaysia is home to one of the oldest tropical rainforests in the world. The Taman Negara is believed to be over 130 million years old. Visitors must obtain a park entry permit and a photographic license, which is charged on every camera brought to the park. The permit is valid for 30 days. Several rare animals live in Taman Negara. These include the crab-eating macaque, the Asian elephant, the Sumatran rhinos, and the Malayan tiger. The Malayan tiger is also Malaysia, national animal. It is so important as a symbol of the country that it even appears on the national coat of arms. The largest cave chamber in the world is found in Malaysia, specifically in Sarawak's Gunung Mulu National Park. Malaysia is the proud host to one of the world's most diverse environments. It has over 200 mammalian species, 14,500 plant species, 140 snake species, and 600 avian species. The country is famous for its many flowers but arguably its most famous bloom is the Rafflesia, the largest flower in the world. A full bloom can weigh as much as 10 kilos and can grow to more than 1 meter in diameter. It is also known as, corpse flower, because its scent is reminiscent of that of rotting flesh. The national flower of Malaysia is the hibiscus. It was officially chosen on July 28, 1960. Its beautifully vibrant colors represent the vitality and courage of the people of Malaysia. Malaysia is also home to the infamous King Cobra. Although this snake is also found in other countries in Southeast Asia. Malaysia is home to the most number of this species of venomous snakes in the world. The King Cobra is already the longest venomous snake in the world. The lengthiest member known was measured at 19.2 feet long. The snake was captured in 1937 in Negri Sembilan, Malaysia. The snake was rehomed in the London Zoo. It reached its full length by 1939. Unfortunately, war had begun and the snake, along with other venomous creatures that lived in the zoo, needed to be destroyed for safety. The country was once under British rule but declared independence in 1957. The British Empire began their attempts to colonize Borneo in the late 1700s and succeeded in 1786 by their acquisition of Penang, which is currently one of the states of Malaysia. Malaysia won its independence through diplomatic negotiation. Malaysia was once part of the colony of the Straits Settlement. The settlements also included Malacca and Singapore. Malaysia's climate is tropical rainforest, which means it experiences warm, humid, and sunny weathers on most days and lots of rainfall starting in October until March. The nation's capital, Kuala Lumpur, is famous for its high temperatures. Although temperatures have dropped in the last few years, KL remains hot. 
This is because it is considered an urban heat island in area where there are numerous roads, buildings, and other infrastructures. Malaysia consists of peninsular Malaysia and Borneo. The South China Sea separates the two landmasses. Malaysia has three federal territories. These are Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya Federal Administrative Territory, and Labuan Island. The country has 13 states, consisting of 11 states of Malaya, Sarawak, and Sabah, and three federal territories. Malaysia's monarchy rules using a rotating system. Each of the ethnic Malay state rulers take his turn on the throne. His ruling period lasts for five years. The Malaysian flag is known as Jalur Jamilong, which is Malay for the Stripes of Glory. This name was created by then Prime Minister Tun Dry, Mahadnur bin Muhammad in 1997. It was inspired by the Federation of Malaya Flag. A design contest was held to create the Malaysian flag. The winning design was created by Muhammad Hamza. The star and crescent symbols represented Islam, the religion that majority of the population practices. The Malaysian flag as designed by Hamza was later modified. The original star, which had five points, was changed by adding one more point. Later, the star was further modified to represent the states of Malaysia, which is why it now has 14 points. The colors of the Malaysian flag represents the country's British Commonwealth membership, blue, and the traditional colors of the Malagasy nations, red and white. The Malaysian flag was first raised on September 16, 1963, the same day that Malaysia was founded. The first king of Malaysia is Tuanku Abdul Rahman who ruled from 1957 until his death in 1960. Malaysian monarchs are known as Yang Di Pertuanagong, which means he who is made lord. Malaysia is famous for its multiculturalism. The smooth integration of different cultures dates back to the 1st century AD, when traders from China and India arrived. Many of these traders also later became settlers. The diverse mix of cultures, traditions, and practices form what is uniquely Malaysian. Malaysians refer to their culture as Kabudayan Malaysia. Malaysia is home to different ethnic groups, Malay, Chinese, Indian, Indonesian, Javanese, Filipino, Nepalese, and other Asian nationalities. Because of its cultural diversity, Malaysia is truly Asia. The three major languages used in Malaysia include, Bahasa Malay, Mandarin, and Tamil. However, there are a total of 137 languages spoken within the country. When Malaysians talk, they often start or end their sentences with law or meh. These are part of the unique language quirks in the country that are intended to modify the tone and context of the spoken sentence. These expressions are meant to make the statement nicer and lighthearted. For example, I like hot and spicy candy. If you stay long enough in Malaysia, it is likely you will hear Bahasa Raja, a unique local language that combines two or more languages used in Malaysia. For example, Mandarin may be combined with Tamil, Hindi, or English. Bahasa Rajak means mixed language in Malay. Malaysians typically greet each other verbally by saying, Salam. However, different ethnicities may also greet each other using a handshake. There are certain rules for greeting people in Malaysia. When a man and woman greet each other, the woman may choose to offer her hand first, especially if she is meeting a man. Otherwise, they simply greet each other verbally. When meeting a Malaysian woman, a man must wait if she offers her hand first. People also use formal titles when greeting someone, unless that person asks to be addressed casually. Older individuals are also greeted first, with a slight head bow. When using a formal greeting, a Malaysian will grasp a person's right hand with both hands, then bow slightly before placing their right hand over their heart. Majority of people living in Malaysia practice Islam, followed by Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Confucianism, and Taoism. The rest of the population practice traditional Chinese religions and philosophies, while others belong to other religious groups. Face holds an important cultural and traditional meaning among Malaysians, particularly among the Malays, Indians, and Chinese. Face can mean anything that maintains and upholds respect. To lose face means to become embarrassed or shamed. To save face refers to any act or strategy that avoids humiliation and preserve reputation. The kind of gifts you may give to a Malaysian will depend on their background. To a Malay, the safest bet is to offer chocolates or pastries but not alcohol. Avoid giving toys that depict pigs or dogs. To a Chinese, it is best to offer pastry or cake, or any souvenir from your country. 
To an Indian, offer cakes, pastries, or flowers. Never give leather especially to a Hindu. Malaysia's unofficial national dish is nasi lemak. It is made of fluffy rice cooked in pandan leaf and coconut milk. Served with with different delicious accompaniments such as boiled egg, fried chicken, peanuts, omelette, or cucumber, among others. It is sometimes referred to as the food of the nation and is typically served on a bed of banana leaf. Malaysia's national bird title goes to the hornbill. This bird does not only have an impressive appearance but it also has a number of wonderful characteristics. For one, hornbills are family-oriented and have a good relationship with monkeys. Hornbills know when to listen to monkeys who sound out warnings when humans are around. The Malaysian hornbill holds a special place in the hearts of the indigenous Dayak tribe. The Dayak people believe that a hornbill represents the spirit of God. It is considered good luck when a hornbill flies over a house. The Petronas Twin Towers are a famous Malaysian landmark. The structure was completed in 1996 and remained the tallest building in the world until 2004. The Petronas Towers were named after Malaysia's national oil company. It is 88 stories high and has 32,000 windows. The bridge that connects the Twin Towers are the world's highest sky bridge. It sits on the 41st and 42nd floors. Although she began her career in Hong Kong opposite Jackie Chan, famous international actress and Bond girl Michelle Yeoh is proudly Malaysian. Any id girl, celebrity, or influencer will tell you that when it comes to shoes, very few can hold a candle to Jimmy Choo. The designer, shoemaker is also Malaysian, hailing from Penang. The Malaysian batik is dyed cloth that is famous for its geometric patterns. To create the cloth, a length of fabric undergoes a wax-resist dyeing technique that is done by hand. Malaysians actually do not consider themselves Malaysian. They likely will refer to themselves as Malay, Indian, Chinese or Dan Lane Lane. Which means other. Batu Caves is a famous landmark in Malaysia. The caves are found within a limestone hill just 11 kilometers. From Kuala Lumpur, a century-old Hindu temple can be found in these caves, featuring a number of statues and idols. The caves are named after the Batu River. The 140 ft. Tall Sri Murugan statue can be found at the entrance of Batu Caves. It is the tallest Hindu deity statue in the country and also the third tallest in the world. Sabah is one of Malaysia's shining jewels. Sabah, which sits on the northern point of Borneo, is home to some of the world's most beautiful beaches, rivers, limestone caves, and fertile plains. If you like the video, we'll share it with your friends and family members on WhatsApp and Facebook wall. Thank you.